Women's Tennis Association computer named Medusa, who lives in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, says that Ever Lloyd is number one on the basis of her French Open final victory over Martina Navratilova. Good afternoon. I'm Bud Collins, along with Mary Carrillo. And Mary, I think it's a dynamite final. I've been looking forward to this like Pam Shriver. She hasn't played Chrissy since March of 1983. It was a while. And she's been moaning about it ever since, and saying, I don't get no chances. Well, today she gets it. The grass isn't in terribly good shape, and it's going to hurt a, gra a baseliner like Chris Ever Lloyd, and it's going to be great for Pam because the she'll ball's be serving not bouncing ball. very well. That's right. Chris just doesn't trust the state of the grass on this surface, and it'll be great for Pam, who likes to just slash and burn. This head to head. Is this very discouraging for Pam Shriver? They and so Shriver thinks she can do it today. Zero and 14. How did I pick Pam Shriver when I look at those statistics? But I did. I think that Chris Ever Lloyd should win this match. She's got a lot riding on it emotionally because Pam has been claiming that she would like to be playing someone like Chris instead of someone like Martina all the time. Well, how, much, how much does that ruffle Chrissy, or is it just uh, press talk? Oh, no, no, no. I think, I think Chris has got a lot of pride. That sort of talk would really affect her. And you can't really blame Chris for feeling that way. It's part of the court. The half court is really beat up. Schreiber will be hitting to that spot much more than Chris on this day. Mm. There it is again. It's really dead. Another miss serve by Chris, not a good serving game for her in that regard. Woo! But boy, have her pass, backhand pass has been right on the money. Well, but they've played remarkable tennis already, and I think it'll get better. Ooh. 45. Much better serving game for Chris than her first. Down the line and two games off. Mix it up a lot against Chris. Ooh. She might get it. So here's Chrissy Everett Lloyd, who won this title in 1974. First appeared here in 72 as a schoolgirl of 17. Oh, boy, what a back. Net cord. Ugh. Keep waving, Pam. Somebody. Well, you can see Chris did a good job of getting Pam entirely off balance. This was a nice drop, and Chris does the old cat and mouse routine. <laughs> Pam <laughs> glides over with ease, but as well. the footwork of Pam Shriver and Chris, they, it couldn't be more different. Chris, very small, correct, precise steps. Pam, the long, lunging strides. Got the line. Everett Lloyd, three games all. Monday. Oh, she'll take it. Love that frame. His hyper extension by Pam Shriver, and even with all of her great height and reach, she just barely got a very well placed lob by Chris. So she likes that oversized racket, Pam Shriver. One of the few to use the oversized racket when we first saw her in 1978. Only other woman was Val Ziegenfuss. Everett Lloyd. And there it is on the line and two break points. 15, 40. Lost the first two games of the match, was down to Love, and now leads 4-3. Love 15. Driver earned that 
point two or three times and never stopped hustling. Ooh, beautiful slashing backhand volley. That's my favorite volley of Pam's. Everett Lloyd has risen from love 40 in this game, but it is still at issue. Three break points. <laughs> that was such a mentally tough game Chris just put in there. I don't know how much better Shriver can play. Plus the tennis footing. Shriver! And as Pam says, grass is the best possible surface to play Chris on. bounced about as high as a rat's eye. <laughs> it did, but Chris's preparation is so clean that she can adjust in a fraction of a moment and still come up with a clean pass. <laughs> oh boy! That was a good approach by Shriver. Another low non-bounce, and yet, what did Chris Everett Lloyd do to it? I'd like to see that again. <laughs> you know, but it's not only the surety of Chris's footwork that makes her so tough on grass, but the fact that she prepares herself so well. Her racket is always in a good hitting position. Her hips move immediately to the ball. And she is just in top form. It's Pam five. loses this match, bud, which she which she very possibly could. It's not that she hasn't really thought out how to beat this player. She has spent a lot of time working very specifically on beating Chris. And Shriver has played gamely and well, but Chris Everett Lloyd has been darn near perfect, except for her first serve. Sneak volley. I was talking about a lack of variety in my draws. I didn't mean I could beat her. That's what she said very specifically. She said, I just feel I need to play people ranked above me, but not always Martina. But however she meant it, it entered the ears of Chris Everett Lloyd like a drill. What a love. Perfect. <laughs> Net cord, good. 40. Now she leads two games to love. Shriver has lost three successive games. Ooh. Ooh. Still in play. And a winning shot by Everett Lloyd, who hasn't given up on a single ball. You wish Pam would come out of her shell, bud. Yeah, she's a bit tongue-tied. Oh, 
boy. This meeting between the two players. Oh boy. I really feel, feel that this woman right here is trying to make a, a very succinct point. Against Ava Faf, there's John Lloyd, husband of the leader in this match. games tonight. And Pam Shriver has managed to accumulate three points in the second set. In fact, after winning the first two games of the match, she has won only two thereafter. Ooh. But it's yes. It is good. <laughs> I thought she might get a call about, but no. And she looks at the linesman. This call causes Dan Pam Smith. to writhe around in pain. <laughs> you can go months, but without seeing Chris get down and roll around like that. First met in 1978 in the U.S. Open final but it doesn't appear that it will come to pass here or today. Oh, yeah. 195th final of Chris Everett Lloyd's career. Oh boy, oh boy. Just top shelf movement, top shelf hitting from the number one player in the world. She's been doing it all day long. Mm, mm, mm. Eyeball to eyeball, and it's match point. And so even at Shriver's favorite nesting place, the net. She is nested. And beaten. Christine Marie Everett Lloyd, who has won more professional championships than any other tennis player, registers number 138.